Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be learning everything about dialogues in SAMP. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to be creating each dialogue type and then testing it out there in, in game to see how they work. So basically there's three dialogue types. There's dialogue style, sorry. There's three dialogue styles. Dialogue style message. Uh, sorry, dialogue style message box, which is just a, a box with text in it. There's dialogue style list which is basically a list where you can um, choose from a list and then execute some code based on that list or what they click on and then there's uh, dialogue style input those are the three different styles um, or types that you can do of um, dialogues there's a message box just a message with a box in it is a list where you can choose from a list and input where you can input some text and execute some code based on that text so basically for the message box we're going to create slash rules for the list we're going to create slash weapons where you can choose some weapons from a list and input we're going to do slash skin where we can change our skin by inputting a skin id so basically those are the three um, styles or types of dialogues you can do and um, there's going to be a callback called on dialogue response basically here's the parameters for the for the callback there's the player id that um, that selects the dialogue, the dialogue ID, the, if they respond or not to the dialogue, um, and then a list item if there is any, and the input text if there is any. The list item is for the li uh, dialogue style list, and the input text is for the um, input. And the, me the message box is just uh, standalone text within a, within a dialogue. So basically, um, w there's going to be a link in the description called uh, Z command. Basically, uh, download that, copy it into a into Notepad, and save it as Z command .inc and put it in your porno includes folder. So now it, um, that that's by ZX, by the way. Uh, shout out to him. So now we've got Z Z command. We can um, create some commands. So let's do command rules. Player ID params. All right, so now we've got rules. Um, we can create the dialogue. So for the, the we're, we're going to use the message uh, style message. Oh, wait. So basically, first, what we're going to do is we're going to create the dialogue IDs. So wait, let me show you the um, show you the function. Show player dialogue player ID, and then the di and then the ID. So this is where the ID is going to come in. So you. Like for each dialogue, they need to have an ID from zero, one, and up. So basically, what you've got to do is you've got to define rules dialogue, and we can put that as zero. If you're using this um, with other with other scripts and they got dialogues, change this ID to say maybe one thousand and one. So we'll leave it at that, just so it would work. Um, because if you've got the same dialogue ID within another script, it's not going to work. They're going to clash. So we'll keep that dialogue ID like that, and we'll create the other dialogue ID. Just for now, we'll go um, weapons dialogue. Dialogue ID is going to be different, and then skin dialogue. Uh, three. All right, so basically the rules dialogue. So the parameters are player ID, the dialogue ID, the dialogue style, dialogue style message box and then that field there is the top of the dialogue this is what shows in the middle of the dialogue and these are the two buttons so it, it shows like this so you've got a uh, rules dialogue rules dialogue that shows at the top and then you can put the rules here so rules number one or rule number one uh, do not hack or cheat and then to do a, another line we can go backwards slash and then n and that um, gives us another line so now we can go rule number two let's just create some generic rules do not spam flood or advertise and we'll just create a third one just so there's uh, a couple of lines. Rule, wait, rule number two. Rule number three. Uh, do, uh, wait, do, do not, um, do not hack or cheat, do not uh, spam, flood or advertise, do not, um, 
troll, insult, or um, do not troll or insult anybody. All right, do not troll or insult anybody. All right, so now th there's our rules dialog, basically how it is. Now what I do here is um, the color that this is going to come up is like a sort of like a grayish white so what i like to do is like to put a hex code in here so you can put the brackets like this and put six s and that makes it white um put the other sorry um so six so you put those brackets and then six s and that's white if i wanted to make it red uh we can go ff and then four zeros and that will make it red so basically we want to make it white just so it looks better uh, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then, so what, what I like to do is I like to put the hex code and then, and then the text, and then it comes up as white text, just so it looks a bit better, guys. So that's basically how, how the, um, first command, now, now there's, there's two buttons, there's, um, if you only want to create one one button, you can leave that one empty and that button won't be used. And this is the response button. And we can just type close. And when they click it, the dialog will close. And that, that's how simple um, a rules dialog with the message box is. You can create all types of different things. This can be like a help dialog or anything. But um, the next dialog we're going to type, um, going to do is a bit more complex. And it's um, a weapons dialog. So let's go with the weapons dialog. Make a command for weapons. We're putting them in commands because we're going to be actually going in game to see how these look, guys. So um, we've got weapons dialog, dialog style list, and then um, choose a weapon. Now in the in the um, the the list is practically done the same. The first um, like done here where we. Um, create different lines like this and that's for each list item so the first list item will put it a deagle um, and then the next one will put it as a um, combat shotgun and then the next one will go m4 we'll just we'll just do three three different weapons so that's the first list item that's the second list item and that's the third list item now we we don't need to use on dialog response for this because uh, once they look at the text, they click close, it will close. So, but for this list item, we need to use on dialogue response to be able to, to do something when they actually click on Deagle or Combat Shotgun. So, basically, we've got to go to on dialogue response and then we go like this if dialogue ID equals, um, not dialogue Cyrus, uh, weapons dialogue. Uh, we go like this, and now basically we've got to always inside the dialogues. You've got to always do if response. We do that. So and then look, wait. So close. We'll go select for that button, and then we'll go close for that button. So we can do if we wanted to do something for that close button, we can go else if no response. Or just else, and then um, we like that. That'll be the that'll be the close button, and this will be the select button. So when they select one of these, we need to go and do an if statement like this. And if list, I think it's list item um, equals zero, which is the first list item. So this one will be zero. That will be one, and that will be two. So uh, this one will be deagle so list item number one and then list item number two will be that and that will be combat shotgun and then the third list item will be m4 all right always start from zero guys because uh um, well pawn anyway counts from zero up um so now when they click on the deagle list item, uh, the, the deagle one, we want to give them a deagle. So what we're going to do is um, give player weapon, let me just fix that up, give player weapon, player ID, uh, wait, what am I doing here? 
player ID and now we've got to get now um, I'll put this link in the description guys this is uh, a list of the, the weapon IDs now we want a Deagle so Desert Eagle um, is no, number 24 so 24 and let's give him 999 ammo like that, that that should give him infinite ammo I think giving him 9999 ammo and um, so there you go so when they click it when they type weapons and then click on deagle they'll be given a deagle and now for shotgun we'll, for the combat shotgun it's 27 and for the m4 it is 31 so that's as simple as it gets guys let's put a return there so that that's as simple as it gets guys um like but we because we're not doing for anything for clothes we don't need to put anything there so that, that that's basically how it's going to look for the weapons dialogue so you can um you can uh, choose a gun you can type weapons and then choose a gun and, and then be um be given a gun so that should compile what's going on here possibly only to uh 25 it doesn't like that uh what's going on here oh equals when you do your statements you've got to be doing two instead of one so there we go that works and now our last dialogue is going to be a skin dialogue didn't now this is going to be a little bit more complex so we'll go here and we'll go skin so with the skin dialogue we want to show them input dialogue so we'll go to skin dialogue skin dialogue id um select the skin um enter skin id and then here we we'll, we've got to show them a bit of text above the input um, and and um, oh wait we'll put the title as select skin or change skin change skin and then for the input um, text we're going to put uh, please enter a skin ID to change your skin please enter a skin ID below to change your skin and then below that is going to be the input text and then we can type enter or close so now yep that should work so skin and now we go back to here and we go like this and we go else else if um it equals skin id okay if there's a response we're uh, closing it is that we don't need to do an else statement for the for the close uh, button but we're doing it for the enter button so if response now um, I'm just getting a bit of code here um, is numeric I'm going to be putting this script on github guys so you can download download this and and try it out I'm going to be making sure it works before I um, put the final version up but all right is numeric so basically um let me just quickly go like this uh, if it's not input text all right so now we need to check that their input text is actually a number and if it's not a number we can oh sorry we'll go like this if there's not a number we return send client message player id uh, minus one for color color white um, um the skin id must be a number all right now we've done that so if the input text is not a number um the skin ID must be a number. Or we can do another check here and go if um, I think there's no ST, str length of the input text. I think that's going to work. If there's no string length, yeah. If there's no string length, if they haven't put in anything or they haven't put in a number, we send them this message saying the skin ID must be a number. But now they've put in a number, we. Um, we, we, we can um, set player skin. Oh, wait, we need to do another check here, guys. If um, 
str value if the string value of the input text is less than zero or if the string value of the input text is more than 299 or there's an actually there's the skin ids are from 0 to 299 i think there's more but these are the the default ones and then there's no skin id um 74 i believe so um so i think it's 74 wait i think i'd have it somewhere here uh yeah 74 if it equals 74 Less than zero, more than that, or equals 74. We send them a, a message saying invalid skin ID. Whoop. Whoop. Wait, let me get rid of that. Invalid skin ID. All right. So now they've put in a valid skin ID. We can set player skin. Player ID, string value of the input text, and bang, they've just changed their skin once they've, uh, we'll do return, like that, we'll, uh, we'll put the return here instead of there, alright, so there we go. They've inputted a skin ID and it's a valid skin ID, so we change the skin ID and that's as simple as the input text is, guys. So uh, let's uh, compile that and um, go jump in game and see how it works. Alright guys, here we are. This is what happens when we type rules. As you can see, dialogue, text in it and just click close. This is what happens when we type weapons. We get a list of weapons and we can select from it. This is what happens when we click combat shotgun. Bang, got a combat shotgun. And now here's what happens when we type skin. Now we type in a skin ID and we'll type in zero for um, CJ. And bang, there we go guys. Works. Alright guys, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do um, in the comments. And um, I'll sure be to get around to do them. And um, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one guys. Peace!